Evening, everyone. It's about uh, 640 on the 5th, Wednesday the 5th, and um, there's not going to be a daily note tonight. Uh, my late, my partner in Las Vegas passed away this afternoon, so um, I'm not going to put out the daily note, but on a day like today, I kind of feel it's my responsibility to give you everyone a heads up on what actually happened today. Today was a combination of COVID issues and the Fed. Clearly, it was the FOMC minutes that accelerated the move down. Uh, Kind of a funny situation. Uh, In the Discord room today, we actually made money trading the QQQ calls ahead of the FOMC. I think most people paid between uh, 39 and 44 cents for them and sold them between 86 and 90 cents. So we were the last people to make money on the calls today before this tremendous day to the downside. Uh, I mentioned last night interest rates and um, Yesterday, the 30 was at 207, and that was up 17 basis points from Friday night's close. Uh, They continued up today. Uh, They closed at 209, so that's 19 basis points in three days. The 10-year notes, 171, that's also 19 basis points in three days. And the five-year notes, 143. That's 17 basis points in three days. These are, I know that we get really desensitized when we have the kind of velocity in the market that we have, uh, but those are really magnificent numbers. You're talking about numbers that in the past might have taken six months or a year for that kind of move in interest rates. And it also lends credence to um, my least favorite market pundit, doofus Dave Portnoy, who swore up and down that stocks don't go down. And um, the stock that he is probably most involved with is the company that uh, bought the big piece of Barstool, Penn Gaming, which has gone from 142 to 47. So I guess they do go down. Um, In the Dow, Dow was down 392 after making a new high, four and a half to one to the downside, and strong volume, which speaks poorly of it. The NASDAQ, which has been weak all along for the last seven or eight days, especially, finished down 522 or three and a third percent and advanced declines there were about three to one to the downside. Volume ballooned up to five billion shares. Uh, The last week of the year, it had been running 3.6, 3.7. This is a little bit closer to uh, what is normal, 4.7 to 5 billion. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Uh, The S&P was down 92, 1.94. And the uh, Russell, which has been a laggard, has not made a new high, down 74.87, also 3.3%. And the transports, which were the biggest gainer yesterday, were the close to the biggest loser today. Uh, They were down 235.44, so not a tremendous loss, 1.42, nothing like the NASDAQ or the Russell. As far as the Dow stocks go, there were 17 down and 13 up. I'm just going to go over the uh, biggest losers. And remember, these are Dow points, not points in the stock. Uh, CRM, Salesforce, paired 135 Dow points off the average. Microsoft took off 83. Goldman Sachs, 58. Home Depot, 37, and Apple, 31 and a half. Um, And I think a lot of people are probably asking, you know, what happened here? And uh, I would say that there's also been, and I've been discussing it every week, 
talking about how caution is necessary and position sizes need to be diminished in order to control risk, um, I think there was a fair amount of margin selling today. Uh, you have to remember that there's been this kind of quiet, under-the-surface um, bear market in a lot of stocks. I know I mentioned it yesterday, um, and I know that I mentioned it uh, a couple of times lately on stocks that have moved down that nobody really, you know, has noticed because they're not in the averages. But you look at companies like... Uh, well, for example, Penn. Penn is down from 142 to 47. Um, we have some of the other uh, really big popular names, like Robinhood, a stock that in its second week of trading was 85 and closed at 15.98 today. Um, and you know the all of the real. Um, Reddit or Wall Street bets or Doofus Dave Port Noise kind of stocks have moved substantially lower. Um, you know, Zoom, which in October of last year, not this past year, a year and a half ago, uh, was 588. Um, last year, the high was 451. The stock is 174 and change. Uh, so there are a lot of names like this. And unfortunately, the newest and biggest retail traders as a group, not individuals, um, have been in a lot of these stocks. And, uh, you know, some of them are down 20, 30, 50 or more percent. So I think that that's what you're seeing here. Um, I think that the market is a bit oversold, and so um, I'm going to keep an eye out if we gap down tomorrow. In the Discord room, we'll probably trade the upside in the QQQs again, just for a bounce. And as my uh, partner Dennis continues to point out to me, um, the man just loves redundancy, uh, you know, Bear market rallies, and some of these stocks are in bear markets, bear market rallies tend to be very sharp and very fast. And so there are going to be trading opportunities. The VIX, by the way, closed 1973 up 282 or 16.7%, but that is nowhere near a spike, which tells me that the market is going to work lower. Uh, oil was up 86 cents. Um, right now, let me just take a quick look-see. Okay, right now it's down 65 cents, but it's had a pretty nice little move up here uh, in the last couple of days and weeks. Um, and uh, as I said this morning, I think, you know, we're getting it into an area between 78 and 79. 80, where we should come back down, wouldn't bother me in the least to see it come all the way back down to 74, 75. Um, not sure it's going to uh, with the problems with Russia and Kazakhstan. Um, the net gas was up again today. Uh, it finished um, up 12.8 cents, and right now, uh, it's down 2.9 cents, but this too has built a nice little base in here uh, where it has for several weeks been trading uh, against this 350 area, I believe it is, 350, and we made a slightly higher low last week, and we're starting up. So, uh, you know, I'd like to see a close uh, above, uh, let's just say, this uh, 394. Uh, last trade is 385, so I'm not terribly concerned that it will or won't get there. We'll just have to wait and see. Uh, Bitcoin was down 2475. Uh, the dollar was down only nine cents. The bonds were down about a half a point. The bonds, of course, uh, down a half a point. Uh, is just a continuation of what's been going on.
there right now down 1730 seconds on top of that and that should take us pretty close back down to the lows yep to the lows that we saw yesterday and uh, this is another one that you need to look at the context which is the longer term view of it and uh, you know we have broken the trend line we're solidly below the 200 week moving average uh, and you know we could easily test 153 so there you have it as i said no daily note tonight i'm sorry for the inconvenience but i will be back first thing in the morning have a good